Don't be afraid. Hold on, you'll find your way. Welcome to Growth Made Groovy, where we talk about everything from healing medicine music, working through life challenges, and developing awareness and connections as we heal and grow along our journey. Hey everybody, I'm Noel. And I'm Caroline, and welcome to Growth Made Groovy. And I think today's version of this is prob- probably going to be, what did I say, real, raw, reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, life, oh boy. life taking its twists and turns all around yes. and uh, giving us the opportunity to um, learn more about ourselves, accept more. Walk through more. and share the process more. <laughs> yeah, have compassion for ourselves and each other and more. the world in general. And, more. And feel. Yes. And more, feel. more, more, more feel. More, more, more. Yeah. And so, accept. I want to use that word because you've been saying that too. Well, so acceptance. So yes, it yeah. is. It's and and I think that um, leading into the acceptance of this song, which uh, we're about to talk about today, which is. We're never apart. <laughs> so this is a song we wrote back way back. I don't know. You probably have the date. Oh yeah. Uh, April 22nd, 2019. Okay. 422.19. So um I always like the 22s. But uh, yeah, so we wrote it and um, it was a challenging song to do, first of all, singing wise and guitar wise. Um, and then we just left it right there. It's, it's very vulnerable, open, it's very simple. Um, we left it right there. And so um, a couple of years later, back in March, we just did a re- reboot of it. And uh, it sounds good. It's a fun little song, um, but it's really, uh, it's, 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 it's nice. So without further ado, let me do this whole setup here and we'll play We're Never Apart by In Divinity. <laughs> in Divinity Music. <laughs> in Divinity Music, right. As we are in Divinity Productions on the Growth Made Groovy podcast. Here we go. Shift. Okay. Share. Is that? Okay. Nice. All right. And ah. now here we go. Okay. Inside the stillness.
Oh, that was a good version. Yeah, very <laughs> that was nice. better than the first one we did. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, that was, that was deep. I, I mean, the, the key <laughs> thing musically though is um, I went lower on the highs at the first heart and the first chorus. And then I went back to the high. I was always going high. So, and that would, that was hard. I mean, it's hard to yeah. like, maintain that. But anyway, so that's very, I mean, you're right. It was apropos stuff we were talking about before we started the podcast. You know, was, the first verse really hits hard. I mean, it hits home, you know, inside the stillness where I go. Life gets heavy and I don't know. I couldn't hide from the feelings I tried. Reaching out to you, I sat down and cried. I mean, it's literally, you know. <laughs> Real raw reality TV. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, um. Yeah. I mean, do you want to start with what you what you're walking through or what you're doing? Cause I think that's, I think it's very helpful. Um, this isn't, this isn't like tears aren't necessarily always victim mode. It's also yeah, it's a, a grief and release. <laughs> Girl, yeah. 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 And I mean, and, yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm walking through all kinds of stuff, but I mean, you know, the stuff we were talking about from my end was with my daughter and um, how I can be, you know, the best father I could be, which needed to be anyways, because I'm her father. But now since her mother has passed away and how I could be the best father slash mother, um, or at least influential in some way. And I, you know, it's just part of the deal. I have no clue on that. So I just keep going on how I could be the best father, but it's, uh, you know, we had, a, we had some good trials yesterday and um, fantastic you know, finishes at the end of, you know, her feeling and sharing, me feeling and sharing and um, just, uh, you know, yeah, just letting feelings be really, there's nothing to fix again. And as men, as fathers, we tend to go into the fix it mode. Um, and what happens is for wounded fathers, which most men are the wounded masculine, we go into the fix it because we're uncomfortable with just a feeling and a feeling doesn't need to be fixed. And so when we go into the feelings to fix them within ourselves and especially within another, including especially our children um, and or our significant other later on in life, but, or at the same time, it doesn't matter. But when we try to fix the feeling, uh, that's where the wounds start to really happen because the disconnect happens within ourselves and within each other. So it's a, it's an exploratory process that I'm able to just let myself feel and let her feel and just be there, letting her feel and be there, letting myself feel. And that right there is the, you know, the healing part of it, you know, connecting. Yeah. I mean, this whole thing with, um, <clears throat> we're taught, we're not taught how to feel our feelings. We're taught to stuff them or run from them. And it doesn't help us to walk through whatever it is that we're walking through when there's stuff that does help us to rage and blow up. <laughs> and part of like the process I'm, I'm working through now without going into another hour of my story right now is every every word is where I am. I mean, I, I'm like walking through grief from a situation that happened with me and learning how to sit in the stillness because I need to do that without like getting into my space of walking around in circles going, oh, I can't, and everything's falling apart. Everything's chaotic, which it is. And how to walk through that, which is not easy. And then um, and obviously it's heavy um, and I get to the point where I don't know how to do it. And so thank God for <laughs> Noel that I have a friend who can walk me through this stuff <laughs> for lack of better words when I'm in it, because sometimes we need uh, support, um, to walk through it. And, uh, that last line, I mean, is like, so, uh, how do you pronounce it? Point poignant. Yeah for me to be able to reach out to you because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> and the sit down and cry thing is, you know, and this happened the last time we talked, I think, I can't remember at this point, I don't know, but that's what goes on. And being able to, 
to just accept and walk through, feel, release, move on to the next level. I've talked about the next level of the mountain, the new vista, you know, all that stuff. And it's okay to be in it though. It's okay to experience it in the moment. Noel asked me if I wanted to not do this today. And I said, no, 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 no. Because I think that where we are is important for people to connect with, you know what I mean? It's just that piece of it is so when people see that they're not the only ones, that they're not alone, that we're not alone, that's where it's important for me because I don't want to feel like I'm alone either, you know? Yeah. So. Right. Right. And, and I mean, and uh, you know, and it's really important that we do have that connection and, you know, as I was reading through again, there's simple lyrics. There's just one more, basically one more um, verse, but um and at the end, I remembered, and again, most of our stuff is double mean, meaning, double meant, if that's a word. Uh, double mint gum. There you go, double mint. <laughs> uh, but it's reaching out and connecting with another, of mm -hmm. course, and it's also reaching out within ourselves and connecting with ourselves. And so, so again, but the chorus is just into the heart, we're never apart. And so into the heart, we're never apart, meaning me and another, me and you, we're, and into the heart, whatever part, myself and self, you know, deeper in. And um, so morning is breaking, the day has come, sharing our vision, watching the sun. Now, this is definitely a connection with another. Uh, thinking of heaven, lying awake, living in a better world, it's here to stay. So th this is in a connection with one other and or, you know, the, the entire planet, you know, and beyond. Is the, way I, is the way I feel this, you know, morning is breaking, the day has come. So the new opportunities, sharing our vision, watching the sun, you know, the birth of the sun, the sun is the birth of all. Um, and thinking of heaven, lying awake. So as we're lying here in this lifetime, thinking of what's beyond this lifetime, which is here now, but in that essence and that presence, which is living in a better world, it's here to stay and making that claim, which is all we can do in the now. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, and I remember when we wrote that, this is when we were pretty much still getting to know each other too. Yeah. So know who we were you know, like with each other and with our vision, because our vision was big. It was like, get out there and save the world with all these songs or whatever, you know, maybe, um, but, or not. Uh, well, I no, was still I mean, new at the, it yeah, was. You were new, but I, mean, I was new, so I didn't I know what the heck that was. To do that. I still do. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, but yeah. we got together and we were coming up with, it and the stuff was channeling very fast, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't even know what's. It, it was here. I'm going to look in my book, but it's from March 13th to April 22nd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's eight songs. Yeah. Well, say April 23rd because we went through home again. So that's eight songs in what a month and a half. Yeah. And I remember talking to one of your friends and he's like, well, it takes me about a, you know, six months to a year to write a song. And I was looking because I didn't know I was new at this and I'm looking at him like, well, that's weird. We've got eight songs written already, you know, or whatever it was at the time. I'm like, I didn't know any better. I thought that's how it works because <laughs> usually stuff flows, you know, just like with yeah, you, the, 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 the um, melody or, if I say this right, is that right? It's the, 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 yeah, I, the melody, but I the, the music, the musicality, it comes. Yeah. Through. yeah. So that comes through. And for me, the, the lyrics come through and it's weird. Cause I can just, and I don't know how it works, but it just like, boom, there it is. And I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing, trying to keep up with it all coming. And then the next one comes and the next one comes and the next one comes and the next one comes. And I'm like, wow, you know, so. For a song lyrical lyrically but um hopefully i'm using the words right there too um but it, it's this it's the passion the creativity that just comes flowing through it's like whoa <laughs> this is pretty cool and to have that many you know just in a month and a half at that point was like that was the vision i, I mean he kept talking noel you kept talking about you know how you wanted to be out there and all that and i'm like well that's neat and maybe you know we had already started doing um what do you call it? Uh, open mics at that point, singing yeah. a couple of these songs. And it's like, I was starting to really like that, you know? So it was like getting out there here, bigger, let's connect with people. It's the 
for 32 hertz and the words and we're going to get every you know all that stuff so that's kind of weird yeah no i mean that it all kind of flowed too and um yeah i mean this song is again a little simple little ditty i mean again the only other part was at the end the little outro is wanting to know you we're never Mm -hmm. apart and again that's another and it's also self you know really wanting to know that self we're never apart literally and that's the one you can never be a part is within self unless you choose to disconnect and once you're totally at one within self then you're really never apart from people that you make the connections with the really close bonds even if they're no longer here you know what i mean or or no longer connected in that way there's still that that connection of love of you know who we are together that goes beyond just you know the the actual face-to-face person yeah and yeah and i mean like looking at the words from that day, I mean, the words, I think when we were getting to know each other, those words meant something different than they do, than they do now too. And like wanting to know you, I mean, I think I know, I know you and you know me better sometimes than we know ourselves, which that's kind of scary sometimes. And then now though, with having walked through, um, the last year, couple of years with each other, we know ourselves better too. So it was also like a call, a calling from our selves, separate selves to want to know ourselves better. Yes. And, and that was, that was the wording that I think now that I'm looking back at it, you know, it, it, it changes meaning all the time. It's not, it's not always the same. And every time you go through something new in your life, something changes meaning. You read a book again for the second, third, fourth time and you find new meaning in it, you know? So it's, it's looking back at um, uh, the connection you and I had in the moment, in reality, in 3D, whatever you want to call it, where we literally were never apart. I mean, other than when I went to work <laughs> and, and getting to know each other and wanting to know each other and wa- wanting to understand each other. And boy, did we do that. And, you know, learning all kinds of learning, all kinds of things and helping ourselves to learn about ourselves and yada. It was like, Ooh, so, but it was definitely well worth the journey. I'll give, I'll give you, I'll give you that. So, I'll give you that. That's I'll a, give you that. It wasn't right. easy, but it was well worth the journey. Well, no, <laughs> it never is easy. I mean, um, but it, what it does is it starts to become more um, connected again mm-hmm. with as we connected more with each other, especially in the challenging stuff, it, as long as the, 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 the vantage point is looking at self too, even the challenging stuff is a gift is a blessing. You know, I mean, you know, there, there's a point where it needs to like shift, but, and it's still there as a blessing so that it can learn more about who I am, what I'm doing. You can learn more about who you are, what you're doing. And because if we're always thinking it's the other person in relationship, um, then we're always going to be um, dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. It really is about self um, within the relationship. Well, and then to add to that too, because we didn't just have a partnership with music. We didn't have just have a relationship. We had, like you mentioned earlier, we also had life and death that was involved with yeah. all of this and the challenges of that and walking through that and and believe me that really helps you get to know yourself and somebody yes. else a lot <laughs> and it wasn't an easy process and yeah. it happened and then you know being being there with each other walking through that piece of it for each other for for you know your daughter yes and all of that it was like oh you know i mean that's over that's like I just want my life to be like, no, that's not what's going to happen. Sorry. (laughs) It's big stuff. It's big stuff, but that's what we're meant to do. So, yeah. So, but it's, it was worth it. And, and we are you and I, you and anyone we connect with, even, even if, like you said, we're no longer in in each other's lives, we're truly never apart because we're all one. We're all connected anyway. That's correct. And I thank you for all you've done. Oh, thank you. (laughs) for me with me yes don't make me cry (laughs) you know how easy that is (laughs) (laughs) oh god all right well on that note yeah note i hope you all 
uh, enjoyed uh, We're Never Apart and that you feel the energy and connection within yourselves today and always. And uh, please feel free to leave feedback, comments, uh, anything that hits you, requests, anything you'd like. We'd love to connect with you. And if you'd like to be on the show, hit us up for that as well. Ooh, that'd be fun. That'd yeah. That'd be fun. We're definitely open for that. But yeah. Uh, much love to you and yours yes. today and now and always. And uh, have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye.